I enjoy teaching so much because that has been my passion since I was in middle school. And so I've been in education for over 45 years. So that really has been an enjoyment to me, something that I really love and have a passion about. It's been a great reward. Every level that I've taught at, I learn from the students, I learn from my colleagues. I learn from the people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I'm a new junior faculty and Dr. Lucido, his initial role when I came to the university was as an associate dean and since then he's now, um, he's been supervisor of student teaching and he's just been a great mentor since I've arrived. He's walked me through the process of daily duties um, in the life of a site professor and a field-based professor in our educator preparation program, and so he's been a, just a wonderful mentor to me. Frank and I have worked together throughout my 18 years at the Island University. I've learned so much from Frank. He is a great colleague and friend. It'd be impossible to measure the good that Dr. Lucido has done in his lifetime of work as an educator. Uh, when I was going to school, I had a lot of friends that were in school with me, but then slowly they began to drop out of school because of different issues with education, issues in their lives. And I wanted to be a teacher so that I could help that type of student to be successful, to go into the world and become productive citizens. My teaching style is learning by doing, actually modeling a good teaching practice for the students and having them engage and then going back and reflecting on what we did, the activity that we did in the classroom and then kind of analyzing it and taking it apart. What I have learned the most um, from him is that you know every student and every person learns in different ways and that we need to be very very proud of where we come from or culture or language. He's great in so many ways. Um, he's very positive, he's very supportive, he's a hard working person and he has a lot of sense of humor so when you would walk into the classroom he would always have a big smile on his face. You can come with him with all the stress and he's very calming and very welcoming and he kind of just takes you and says it's all going to be okay no matter how much stress you are right now. He's never, I don't think I've ever seen him have a bad day and so so one of my memories was I was teaching a PSYOP lesson in his classroom. We were in a small group and he was observing my lesson. And one thing after he said was, Cinnamon, you're natural at this and you're going to make a great teacher. And so hearing that from a professor really knows that I'm in the right degree and I'm in the right plan. During my graduation, he was there on stage, he was singing. And as I walked by and received my diploma, he went like that, very happy. and. That, that it's a memory that stays with me, just the sense of him being very, very proud, saying, you made it. He's a lifelong learner, and that's something that we try to instill in our students as well. And as an educator, he shows that he is a lifelong learner. So those are things we like to translate on to our students. It takes all of us working together at the university to produce the best teachers. So it, it really is a team effort. Yeah, I would like to say thank you, Dr. Lucido, for being a great professor and for being an advocate for uh, for bilingual education. Thank you so much. Like they say, great teachers don't just teach you, but they inspire you. Just in my personal life, I'd want to be a teacher like Dr. Lucido, who's very nurturing, who's very caring for his students. So I really wouldn't change anything. I followed through with my dreams and my goals. My family wanted me to do other things because, uh, you know, you're not going to make that much money being a teacher, but it was where my heart was. And so I, I wouldn't change anything. Everywhere that I've taught, it's been a great experience and it continues to be on a day-to-day -day basis.